Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic, Snake Game. So basically, let's first look at the requirements of this code. First, you will be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor is required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, we will be requiring a Windows 10 operating system or any other operating system which can hold your program. So without much delay, we'll be moving towards the code part. So here we go. Basically, we included all the header files first. As you can see here, um, sorry. Huh. Basically, we got all the header files included first. Then we have a structure named snake position. We have a structure named snake position, which has two attributes, the integer variables, that is int x and y. Then we have a class named family. There we have static constant variables h and w. Then we have a character pointer named f. Then uh, we have a family function where we are storing or we are calling the address of the family variable. Then we have a family operator, stores the address. Then the family function is called and uh, with in, including the block, we have a variable named f, which is actually initializing a new character pointer. Then we have a loop running from c is equal to zero to c is less than family. Here actually h stands for head. Then we are also having this delete function if like, uh, there will be a x in when while we'll be we'll be seeing this uh, code after a certain while. So actually, there will be a x operator which will be the food. So while the snake's head will touch that food, one hash or one tail will increase, will increment in the snake. This is normal, like how you play the snake game. When you get into the food, the length of the snake increases. Here, the head is at the rate, and the tails or the body parts will be hash. And the food will be x. Then we have a print function here. This loop it is a tested loop which runs from int c is equal to 0 to c is less than h. The next loop runs from r equal to 0 to r is less than w. Then we are storing this data in the form of array, the 2D array, f of family of c and r. Then we have to print c out and then. Next we have the clear function. Here also we are basically running two nested loops two loops in nested manner. We have int c is equal to 0, c is less than h plus plus c and r is equal to 0, r is less than w plus plus r. So if we want to clear or if we if we are somewhat dead, in basically the one of this head or one of the uh, body part hash will be removed or will be cleared. Then we are having the draw function where we are taking three attributes or three parameters. This is basically a calling function y, x, and what. Then in the, uh, we have, we can, you can see in the comment section, we have mentioned the ternary operator as well. Like if y is less than 0, yes, then the answer will be 0. Or else, if y is greater than or equal to h, then check if h minus 1 is true. If yeah, if true, then go for h minus 1. If false, just initialize the variable to y. Then we have a class named food food class, then here we have a snake position, character symbol, and in the public access specifier, we have a food class, and there we are having the symbol x, which is the food one, and the position. So what is the position dot x? How, will, how we are going to initialize it? Position dot x is equal to position dot y is equal to minus one. This is the basic the starting position, like the when the game begins. Then void set position, int x, int y, the parameters have been initialized. Then you are taking the parameter, the actual parameters, the formal and actual. In the called function, you have the formal parameters and in the calling function, you have the actual parameters. Then void reposition. Here we are getting, we are repositioning the snake. Like after a certain game, if you want to reposition the snake, then we are repositioning the snake. Then in the class, class we have actually four attributes, up, down, left and right. So basically, how can you control the snake? By using your four keywords up, down, left, and right. These are the directions. Then we have a snake position array, which consists of 100 characters. The maximum limit is 100. And snake position and person head. So the basically the value of the head 
the value of the address of head is going to be stored. Then we have other two integer variables that is int speed and int size, and we have a boolean that is can turn. Then under the public part, we have snake class symbol, which is the body symbol, and a height symbol that is at the right position, speed one, size one, direction, then the head part. Then we are checking boolean check food. So if we are getting food, then like the, if the head of the snake is touching the foot, then you are incrementing the size of the snake by one. Then let's go to the get input function. Here you are going to get the various input. Like if you are pressing up, down, left, right. In the move, when in case of you are pressing up, the speed is decreasing. When you are pressing down, speed is increasing, left decreasing, and right increasing. This is basically what we are doing is. This is basically, we are trying to uh, improve this uh, synchronization of the coordination of the game. Then uh, in the void draw, here we are basically drawing the snake, like uh, how the our structure of the snake shall look like. Then we come to the main function. In the main function, we have a loop, pile one. And uh, we are trying to get here all the function will be actually called the get input function is called. We are using the try and catch system. You can see that is for the exception handling procedure. Then the all the functions are called, which whose specifications have already explained you. And there will be a time lapse as well, like the 1000 by 30 milliseconds or some to which you need to have a like while you're playing the game, you need to have a thing in your mind like to decide. So that time lapse is also given. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Now we'll be moving towards the code implementation. So have a look here. Uh, this is our code. This is our code, which I explained it to you. Now we'll be running this code. Check this out here. Check. As you can see, when I'm touching the snake, the head, my, this is improving. Just ignore the background. See. So where while you are going towards the food, your head will be increasing. This is what the project is all about. Like when you will be touching the food. I can actually show you once again. I have to run the code. Just give me one minute and show you once again, I have to run the code. Just hold a minute. That is actually how the snake game works actually. So, okay. so this is the code as which I explained to you. Okay. So I have to run this. See, I'm running this right now. And the visual studio code is taking some updates. Now I'll be running it just a minute. Whatever I explained to you, the same thing is going to happen with the code. Mm, yeah. So here you can see the game, how it's played. See, so here I have the head part and the hash symbol is the tail. And the snake is moving, see. So while you're touching the X, you can see that the body will be increasing by one. The length of the snake will be increasing. So basically how this works, so, I hope you understood the working of this code. So, and when you will be leaving the game, so it will be dead. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas.
थैंक यू एवरीवन हैव अ ग्रेट डे